Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fias 35 at 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. That's New York Time, 1.30. Besides this yoga fitness program, we have a lot of support for you. We have my third title, Yoga Secrets, which has two plus eight ailment-specific cards. And in yesterday, in the last episode, we talked about what these cards do. They actually basically just section-wise, section, section -wise, they target different regions of the body. So you could have a card that helps enhance lung power, so a card to help prevent asthma. So you've got about 20 postures. You can pick, mix and match. You can do about 10 postures a day. Take you literally five minutes. So for arthritis, you have knee benders. So this book, Yoga Secrets, I'm going to hold it up for our director, Josiane Hurd. It has 10 cards in it. We also share with you a postcard with 48 simple low impact stretches, which you can consider a kind of a link in your fitness program. We do not teach you to levitate over here in this show. We do not teach you to pull a jumbo with your teeth. We don't pro do any miracles over here. All we do is help you help yourself prevent common everyday ailments. Besides this, we also have a website, yogaexpress.com. Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com. Now, I'm going to introduce, today we have a full house. I'm going to introduce our guests to you. All three of them are very familiar faces on this show. Before I do that, I'd like to thank Josiane Hurd, our director, and Malik Parker, our facilitator, for the studio lights and the sound system. To my immediate right, we have Talisa, Michela, and Little Buddha. I love, I love that name. I, I don't know how it came about, but Little Buddha just sounds apt for him. So Talisa, welcome back to the show. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm honored to be here in the studio at the time and it's a pleasure to bring my little Buddha with us. <laughs> it's like everyone tells me how cocky is and said, I believe that's a lot to do with, with the way you are. The way that I am, and I did a lot of yoga while I was pregnant, so that has, right. it affects the child, so it's really awesome. Um, I'm glad this program, he's actually very calm and very quiet. I can just see little Buddha stretching with us in the next, what, six months to a year. He's gonna be, ha he's gonna have a little baby mat over here. They're gonna have him stretch. Talking about baby yoga, we also have Sarah Torres. You were due to bring a little one today. I was gonna put out a little baby mat for yeah. her. What happened? Family affair. So the little one is now with the family. Would she like to family stretch with us sometime? Affair. <laughs> Did you have too much coffee today, sir? I didn't have any coffee. <laughs> right. 
Yeah. Uh, so are you going to bring your little Come high, high on yoga. Yes, really? yeah, supercharged. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. Actually, yoga can give you a helpful high, but where, where have you left her today? How come you didn't bring her? I ran into a little clash with the other family, so I was like, you want to take her? I've got things to do. All right, Noelle is going to stretch with us next time. She's also an amazingly calm child. I can't yeah. believe that she's your little one. That's why they, <laughs> nobody believes my kids are mine. They'd be like, are you a baby fan? Whose kids are these? They're so cute. I'd be like, their skin is white, but they look like me. Right? They be playing hard too. I love, I love that like, you got your nanny. He's like, I didn't know you was a nanny, some guy. <laughs> I love that's that you right. have all the names on all, all in, in tattoos. as tattoos on yeah, your Yeah, I'm going right? to get um, Noelle's yeah, name. name. Yeah, I wanted to get space it. space for anyone else. Over here. got enough tattoos. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get my brother's. Um, I got Back. something for him right here. You know, he passed Sarah, away. you're also a writer. Oh, that's right. You did say. Your brother? Yeah, my oldest brother. brother oldest my oldest brother. brother. I have two older brothers. Right. Three older brothers, but one I've never met. And, um... You know, Solomon is a couple of years older than me, and my oldest brother Isaac passed away. So I'm gonna so, get, I'm gonna get something like, plus I want it hidden. <laughs> like if you want to keep them all close to you. Uh -huh. It's my body. Like you don't have to know that I move. Welcome back to the show, Sarah. It's always <laughs> lovely to have you back. To Sarah's left and my extreme left. We have Ron Thomas. Ron is a producer here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Ron has a show called Big Talk. And yeah, everybody's Ron's mad at me because. Uh, <laughs> I do not edit the tape, but I do yoga all the time. That's right. I do not Ron edit loves tape. to stretch with us. And Ron, in the last episode, you did an amazing job. It's obvious that you're getting very strong mm -hmm. by just coming here regularly, stretching with us. And for viewers at home, please know, we don't judge you. We don't judge each other. We all do. Uh, we get into the postures as deep as our body allows us on any particular day. Some days we're stronger in some postures, other days we may not be as strong, but it's okay because we're all working towards our own personal goals. I don't want to compete with either Sarah or Talisa in any of the postures, but I want to do the best I can. Actually, a friend of mine told me, Ron, and I find you doing that, that's really wonderful. She told me, it's okay to be, uh, it's okay to be average, it's not okay to be mediocre, meaning it's okay to just not be able to get too deep into it, but it's not okay not to try your best. So we should all compete with ourselves. Don't try to be perfect, just try to be excellent. Just, that's nice. Okay, copyright, Ron Thomas. Welcome back to the show. Don't try to be perfect. Just, just try to be <laughs> excellent. That's right. Pause, brain freeze. We're all good. We're going to take our viewers through some stretches. And I'm thinking, actually, Sarah, would you like to pick anything from here? I know we did transitions last time. Uh, maybe we won't do transitions today. Right. You want to do chest openers, knee benders? We did sun salutation, Ron and so I. So maybe we should time. do some seated, so she can stay close to her baby. Seated. No, okay, we can do some poses, some standing yeah. poses. I think while oh, the okay, little guy is that. sleeping, maybe we should do some stra standing postures. Let's do that. Let's get into all the standing postures today. Yay! All right. Let's see how how smoothly see we can how take up uh, viewers. You with look us. like help. <laughs> like no, you didn't express. Sleep. You didn't sleep good. Workshop. I didn't sleep yet. Sarah, you're crazy. You need some rest. You know what? I'm going to take you through a little um, sequence called Yoga Nidra. Hopefully, we'll have time either at today's taping or tomorrow at the end of it when we do prone and supine postures. You need to learn how to sleep with your heart, not just your body. <laughs> All right, Sarah. Heels together, toes apart, palms in front of your chest, elbows are raised. Now we're going to take you, our viewers, through as many standing postures as possible. And whatever we don't cover today, we'll take you through it at the next taping. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Bring your heels up. Make the insides of your feet parallel to each other. Inhale. Bring your palms up to shoulder height first. Palms facing in. Exhale. Bend at the knees. Now, you want to make sure that you're not putting too much weight on your knees. So if you're leaning forward and your knees hurt, just lean back. Ease off just a little bit. Inhale. Let's come up. Exhale. And relax. Now, let's all turn to face little Buddha. We're going to turn to face the front right side of the mat. 
And I'm going to go diagonal on the mat. So we, and I'm going to stagger, my, we're going to stagger ourselves so we don't hit each other. Bring your legs out about three feet apart. First, put your brakes, put on, put your brakes on. Make sure that the insides of your feet are nice and parallel. And when your feet are nice and firm, turn your left foot out. Upper body faces the side of the mat. Inhale. Bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Lean a little to your left, and I'm going to wiggle my left foot further. Exhale, not yet, not the knees yet. Exhale, dip your left hand in front of your left ankle. Take your right arm all the way up. Look up at the raised palm and hold. Inhale, let's come up. Actually, maybe we'll do what Talisa is doing. Let's, let's exhale and bend the left knee, but bring your shoulders up to shoulder, bring your arms to shoulder height first. Exhale, bend the left knee, and then dip your left hand back in front of the left ankle. Take the right arm all the way up. So Sarah, this is the transition we were trying to work a few days back. So we're already transitioning three postures. Take your right arm all the way overhead. Palm faces down. Now feel that delicious stretch on the whole right side of your body. Inhale, let's come up. Bring both arms to shoulder height. Straighten your left knee. Turn your left foot in. Turn the right foot out. Now. Both your arms are at shoulder height, palms are facing down, lean a little to your left, to your right, sorry. And dip your right hand in front of your right ankle, take the left arm all the way up. Both palms face forward, look up at the raised arm and hold it right there. So you should feel a wonderful opening of your pectorals, your chest muscles on the upper left side of your chest. Inhale, and then bring your arms to shoulder height, exhale, bend your right knee. We're transitioning into Veera Bhadra. Keep it safe. Dip your right hand in front of your right ankle. Take your left arm all the way up and overhead. So this time you should feel a wonderful stretch in the whole left side of your body. How do you feel, Ron? Oh, great. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height. Straighten your right knee. Turn your right foot in. Exhale, bring your palms down. Wiggle your feet a little closer. Let's turn to face the front left of the mat this time. We're going to face the front left corner of the mat, and this time we're going to stagger your fine where you are. So actually, Sarah, do you want to move forward? And Ron, if you can come back. Ron and I will go back. We're going to stagger ourselves. Bring the insides of your feet parallel to each other, about six inches apart. Six to eight, depending if you're very tired today, you can bring your feet further out. If you're feeling very strong, you can bring them close. I'm going to keep them at hip width. Place both palms on your buttocks. Push your elbows back. That already opens up your pectorals, your chest muscles, intercostals. So you're getting a nice chest opener right here. Inhale, lift your chin up, open up your chest. Exhale, as you exhale, glide your palms down the back of your legs. Bend your knees. Make sure you keep the contact with the back of your legs. Do not suspend your hands in midair. Inhale, let's come up. And then to counter that, first you want to do a little bit of a twist just to feel a little release of your spine. And then to counter that back bend, we're going to do a full forward fold. Bring your legs out a little further apart than you normally would. And I'm going to go diagonal on my mat. And then when you feel, when you feel very comfortable with your posture, you can keep, put your brakes on, keep the soles facing in. When you're ready, Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling. Take your arms all the way overhead. You've had a lot of coffee today, girl. Exhale. <laughs> you are very quick. Oh. <laughs> no, but you're right. You know what? I think Ron's right. You're high on yoga. I love that. Exhale. <laughs> Fold from the hip. Sorry, sir. Place both your palms between your feet. When your hands are nice and secure on the mat, you may want to bring your feet further apart if you need to, because for me, I need to do that to try and bring my forehead, my the top of my head to the ground. Keep exhaling and dip. You're so much closer. <laughs> yeah, you say the craziest things. Well, you, I'm you looking should, right at you. <laughs> you should feel a wonderful stretch in your abductor muscles, the inside of your thighs. And also, it runs down the back of your calves as well, so you should feel that. Ron, do you feel your calves? Hamstrings. Hamstrings, okay, that's right, that's good. 
as long as you don't tear anything. Press with your palms, wiggle your feet a little bit closer when you think it's safe to come up to take your hands off of the floor. Place your palms together, inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. Let's wiggle our feet a little closer, turn to face the front of the mat. Remember here in the studios, we are, our holding times are much longer. So it may be a little more intense for us, we're also trying to get a full workout, but at home if you want to flow through, that's fine too. Just know, depending on how much time you have for yourself on any day, feel free to speed up if you need to. Now heels are together, toes apart, palms in front of your chest. Inhale, take your arms up. Wiggle your biceps behind your ears. Exhale, dip to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, bring your palms in front of your chest. Palms are facing down. Now you want to make sure that your feet are about six inches apart, the insides of your feet parallel to each other, and then elbows are raised. So your palms are facing down, elbows are raised. Is the light too much for it? Maybe it is shining on his eyes. Yeah, you want to turn so that our viewers can see him too. No, hey, baby. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to stagger myself around. You may want to come back as well. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to exhale, swing our right arm out, Kadi and chakra. then bring it back. Kadi Chakra, yeah. very good. <laughs> Kadi Chakra. See, when you come regularly, you'll start remembering the names of all the postures. And it's not crucial, it's not vital that you should, but if you do, that means you're paying attention. That's wonderful. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale. Back to the center. Let's do that one more time. This time, take your hips with you. Notice a difference. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back to the center. That's where that Exhale. Have my obliques. And relax. That's right. The twist is wonderful for the obliques. That's right. And the deeper we twist, the more energized we feel because when you come out of the twist, when you stop wringing your body, that's when you really have all the fresh oxygen rushing in mm -hmm. to feed your organs and plants. Now we have those magical balance postures that Sarah and I were trying to take you through as a transitional five together. But today we're going to do them one at a time. Transfer your weight to your right leg. Place, turn your left knee out to the side. Place your right hand on your right hip. Inhale, lift your left foot up. Hold on to the left ankle. Attach the sole of the left foot to the inside of the upper right thigh. Now, if you don't need, if you don't want to go all the way up today, that's okay. You can place your left. Well done. You can also do adaptations or use some props as Ron is doing. If you're not ready to take your left foot all, all the way up, you can I place your way got a chair. I'm like, what the hell can't you? Sarah, the chair is not for you. Place your palms together. Elbows are raised. Inhale, take your arms all the way up. And then look at a point in front of you that doesn't move. Separate your palms, open up your arms and hold it right there. Place your palms back together, exhale and release. Very gently lower the left leg and then transfer your weight to the left leg this time. Turn your right knee out to the side. Inhale. Lift your right leg up, hold on to the right ankle. Attach the sole of the right foot to the inside of the upper left thigh. Place both palms in front of your chest. Make sure your right knee is out to the side. Inhale, take your arms up. And then when you're ready, open up your palms. If you wish, if you feel very steady in this posture, feel free to close your eyes. I'm fine where I am. Very gently place your palms together. Exhale and release. We're going to lower the right leg down and we'll take you through another posture called Thula Danda. We have four more balanced postures while in standing. So palms in front of your chest. Inhale, take your arms up. Now transfer your weight to your right leg. We're going to lift the left leg off of the floor. So as you exhale, dip your torso, lift your left leg. Exhale and dip. 
Look at a point in front of you that doesn't move. Feel free to use a prop. Inhale. Let's come up. Very gently lower the left leg. Keep your arms where they are. And let's take the right leg. Transfer your weight to the left leg. Exhale and dip. Good adaptation, Ron. Mm -hmm. Inhale, let's come up. Lower the right leg. Exhale and release. The next one is Utti Tapada or raised foot. Again, three more balanced postures. Place your left hand on your left hip. Transfer your weight to your left leg. Inhale, lift your right leg up, hold on to the right big toe. Ex exhale and extend. Now I have Sarah and Talisa who are going to go out, so I better stay out of their way. Feel free when you're ready, take your leg out to the side. I thought I was gonna hit you. No, I, I know, I was trying to get out of your way. Inhale, exhale and relax. <laughs> Well, because we have limited studio space, you know, we, but sometimes you, I know you've also raised your leg all the way above me, so I'm not hard to go yeah. above. <laughs> Transfer your weight to the right leg. Inhale, lift your left foot up. Hold on to the left big toe. Exhale and extend. And then feel free, take your left leg out to the side if you wish. Inhale. Very gently, bring your left leg forward. Exhale and relax. Bring your left foot down. Now we're gonna feel a stretch in the quad muscles in the front of the upper thighs. We're gonna take our left leg back first. Transfer your weight to the right leg. Place your right hand on your right hip. Very gently, look at a point in front of you that doesn't move. Hold on to your left ankle from behind. Once you've got a nice firm grip, inhale, lift your right arm up. Exhale, dip your torso, lift your left knee. Look at a point that doesn't move. And then if you want to go further at home, feel free. In the studio, we are gonna go, uh, this is as far as I wanna go anyway. Inhale, come up. Exhale, and release. At times, viewers at home, if you feel very comfortable in this posture, you could go all the way down, touch your toes if you want to. But remember, it's more important to stay steady than to go too deep, because when you go that deep, you also notice that the whole body, the blood rushes to your head, and that's when we start to lose balance. But if you're at home, you have a little bit of time to experiment with these postures, feel free. Transfer your weight to the left leg. Place your left hand on your left hip for balance. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Hold on to the right ankle from behind. And when you're ready, you've got a nice grip on your right foot, Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, dip your torso, lift the right leg up. Now flex your right foot if you can. That'll help you stay even steadier. Inhale, come up. Lower your right leg. And we're gonna go directly into Garuda or Eagle. Transfer your weight to the left leg. Cross your right knee over the left. Wrap your right foot around your left calf. Right knee is up. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left. Wrap your palms together. And bend your knees if you want to go deeper, more of a challenge, bend your knees. Inhale, It's kind of easier for me to stay. <laughs> let's come up and release. Getting down is a lot of pressure on the knees, but it also does help you stay steadier. The That's balance. why the balance is much stronger when you go deeper but also there's more pressure. So as we grow older, for me, bending my knees is a lot harder than I should be going in. So no excuses, but it is good. If, you're, if your knees can take it, it's a good idea to bend because it keeps you very steady and focused. Oh. Transfer your weight to the right leg. Cross your left knee over the right. Wrap your left foot around the right calf. Left knee is up, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over your left, twine your palms together, and look at a point, continue to look at a point that doesn't move. If you want to bend your knees and go deeper, feel free. I'm gonna stay where I am. Inhale, let's come up. Untangle your legs, release your arms. How does that feel, Ron? Oh my goodness. Feels good though when you come out, right? Yeah. 
No. Stretch and work on my body. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that's what we're trying to do with the sequence: stretch every part of the body. We have muscle groups and uh, muscle groups that we never knew existed. That's what we're doing. It's a self-discovery, rediscovery. Heels are together, toes apart. Inhale the arms all the way overhead. Cross your palms over. Hold on to the opposite elbows. Wiggle your biceps behind your ears. And that will help you open up your chest and then tilt your pelvis forward just a little bit. Take a deep breath in, exhale, fold from the hip. Let gravity do the rest, let your body suspend. And then hold it there for a few more breaths. Keep exhaling. Very gently lower your arms down. Place your palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back and then the right. We have about two to three minutes. I think we'll comfortably finish the standing ones. Exhale, press your heels down and dip your head between your biceps. Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands. Place your left knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes in the left foot and hold it right there. Both palms on the right knee, exhale and dip. Right knee is up, inhale the left arm up, exhale, dip your left elbow over the right knee. Place your right palm on top of the left, look up at the raised elbow and hold. And Sarah, I can't see in the back, uh, behind me, but how are your toes? You got them curled in? Oh, they were the- Keep them flat. flat. Good, good. I know it's uh, better for balance with your toes curled in, but I think it's more pressure on the knees. Inhale. Let's come out of that and let's switch legs as gracefully as we can. Take the right leg back, bring the left foot forward. Uncurl your toes in the right foot. Place both palms on your left knee, exhale, and dip. Left knee is up. Inhale, he's got bright eyes. Look at him, he's wide awake, loves the studio. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee. Place the left palm on top of the right. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Inhale, let's come out of that. Since we do have a minute or two, we're gonna continue into the seated postures. Bring the left foot back. Let's come down on our hands and knees. Both palms, palms are directly below the shoulders, knees directly below the hips, fingers nicely splayed, toes are curled in. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to inhale, dip the midpoint of our toes to lift the chest, chin, and buttocks up. And as we exhale, we'll arch our back and uncurl the toes. Inhale and dip. Uncurl your toes, arch your back. One more time. Inhale, curl your toes in and dip. Bend your elbows, keep your elbows close to you. Very nice. Uncurl your toes, arch your back. While credits are rolling, we're gonna steal a few more postures. Bring your knees a little closer to your palms and come up on your knees in camel position. Tops of your feet should try to keep them flat. I know if you curl your toes in, your heels are closer to your hands, but there's also more pressure on the knees, so always be mindful of your body. Knees are directly below the sh uh, hips. Place both palms on your buttocks and push your elbows back. Open up your chest. Gives you a wonderful stretch already in the spinal flexors in the front of the body. Hi. Inhale, lift your chin up, open up your chest. Exhale, glide your palms down the back of your legs. Right hand reaches the right heel Left hand reaches for the left heel. Once you've made that connection, tilt your head back, tilt your pelvis forward and hold. And keep breathing, don't forget to breathe. Inhale, bring your palms back one at a time.